During the uh, Vietnam War, U.S. soldiers um, would pick up off the battlefield Russian-made AK-47s because they could go through the worst conditions and still fire. And they would take their American weapons and just leave them back, back in the, uh, at, at base camp and use basically the Russian weaponry systems. Of course, that was back then. <coughs> the Ukrainian war has showed that uh, many Russian weapons don't work. What do you mean they don't work? They don't work. Ever since the uh, Cold War is gone, Russian-made weapons seem to be rather inferior. Uh, in some cases, they can't give them away. Well, that's your revolutionary, and you don't know the difference. And you don't mind that your receiving stock is cracks. Cracks, yeah, little cracks, little fine cracks, and it keeps you keep firing, and the cracks get bigger. And that's what happened in the Ukrainian war. It seems that all the good stuff was sold to anybody who was willing to pay for it, and what was left was crap. And Russians are out there firing their guns, and the receiver falls apart. Or even worse, it blows up in their face. So, can, are they capable of making their own stuff? Drones? Oh yeah! Except for the drones didn't work. So they buy them from Iran. You know. Oh. We would buy it from you. That is a, that is a real, real problem for the Russians. And they're fighting the... That's why they, they're buying stuff from North Korea. And China. Or Iran. Because Russian made stuff has a habit of not working. Uh, in Yemen, you won't find very many. Well, you do see a lot of AK 47s up there. People carry these things. But they're told not to fire them. Why? Receivers are cracked. Uh, that's why they buy the stuff from North Korea, long distance, and they buy the stuff uh, from China, and not from Russia. You know, in the United States, uh, back in 96, uh, the Chinese army, Red Chinese army, were, were imported 3 million? A Chinese made AK 47s. That's what people have a Chinese made AK 47s. And they work and they're good and they, and those receivers don't crack. Will they re import anything from Russia? No. No, because, because it's, it's junk. And there was it during the Cold War. If you created junk, very likely you got shot. Not now. It's made for the Americans. That's why the Ukrainians do not want to want to have Russian-made equipment, even Russian-made ammo. Many times it doesn't work. Uh, either there is a smaller amount of powder in the shell, so it, the bullet gets stuck <laughs> stuck in the barrel, or it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It sits there. And it's killed many Russian soldiers because of the crap that the uh, the Russian, yeah, crap. Thank you, Putin. You should have you should have gotten uh, Chinese-made stuff before you uh, did anything. But you know the old saying, "Made in Russia is crap." They did make a good a sniper rifle. Expensive. Somebody really put put their talent in to keep it. If you can find one under 
under five thousand dollars 